Hello friends, welcome to Mohini Art Gallery and today we'll be learning how to use masking tape and we'll be doing this beautiful painting of Buddha. So I hope you will enjoy this class and let's start with it. So here you can see I've just drawn a sketch of Buddha and did masking tape and this is a 300 GSM watercolor paper. So this is the Winsor & Newton which fluid, masking fluid which I'll be using and this is a brush which I'll be using to cover it up. So let's start first covering the sketch with the masking fluid. So it's kind of fluid and just dip in it and just block in that whole area which I have sketched it. So it's quite sticky, you have to do it very fast and if you don't have any brushes there are also uh, you can use your pen tip to cover it up or some any pointed thing so that the shape remains proper and that masking fluid doesn't come out. So try using uh, the fluid in thick quantity and just cover it up. And in winters it takes quite a lot of time to dry off so in summers it dry out so quickly but in winters it takes time so if you're drying in winters at least wait for 15 minutes to dry it completely before using any color either watercolor or gouache color whatever you are using just wait for it to dry first and then start using the any color whatever you want So you can see I have just covered the entire area with the masking fluid and it's already sticking because it is drying so it is getting sticky. Now as soon as you are done just close it off because it dries very fast and after drying we will start with the painting. So it's almost dry, it's a little bit wet but it's almost dry. So you can touch and see if it's dried or not and then we will be using the colors and the colors here which we are using here is burnt sienna, cad yellow and cat orange so first we'll apply the cat yellow so just to with the at the head area I'm just applying yellow and this is the big size round brush which I am using here now I'm applying orange so I'm not focusing much on the details, I just wanted to show you how to use the masking tape when you are applying the colors. So whenever you are applying any colors on the masking tape, make sure that the masking fluid is completely dry. So 
so now the third color we are using here is burnt sienna so use thick color so that you can easily blend it in acrylics or if you are using wash also this is not applicable for watercolor but whenever you are using acrylics or acrylics so use thick color because it dries very fast and whenever you feel that that dryness is coming up just add a little bit of water to it and then start the process you can see i've applied the color i'm just since the color is a bit dry then again i'm overlapping the color and starting to blend it so that it looks clean blending is very important when you are doing such type of painting and especially in acrylics it takes practice to blend the colors it's difficult when you are doing the blending of colors the color is a little bit wet so what I'll do is I'll use the blender brush and I'll just mix the color just lightly applying the brush so that it blends nicely this is a very nice brush from Princeton which I use for blending Now let's take out the masking tape slowly since this is a paper there are chances of getting teared off so make sure that you use it very carefully because when you're using any canvas uh, there's no option of uh, tearing off the paper but when you're using the paper it there are chances that paper, sometimes the paper comes out so make sure that you do it very slowly So you can see there are some papers which are coming out. I'm trying to do it very slowly. It is 300 GSM then this paper is coming out. So make sure that you use more than 300 GSM or 400 GSM quality paper. Thick paper so that it nicely comes out and just try to move your fingers and take out the colors. So we can... Uh, course we can uh, fix it by using our color so not a problem so now once this whole uh, tape has come out that fluid so I'll try to uh, uh, first make the shape properly. So 
so this part is left so just taking out the masking tape slowly So now we will fill in uh, the middle part which is the Buddha statue with the black color. I am just blocking black color, no other colors. So the main purpose of was to show you how to use masking, masking tape and where you can use. Suppose you are doing any detailing or uh, any blending sort of thing and there are many uh, many objects in between which you don't want to destroy it so you can use this masking tape and after doing the background blending you can remove the masking tape and do that painting part so it's an it's not necessary to use masking tape you can directly use uh, you can leave it blank and then you can use but sometimes it happens that you are not able to do the painting so it's good for covering that area which you don't want to paint you can see I'm just blocking in the area the statue of the Buddha Just enjoy the process of painting and blocking. Yes, here the brush which I am using here is the round brush and for the detailing I will be using the liner brush for the head part.
so this is almost done so let's first take out the masking tape which I we have put all around and see how it looks so I hope you guys enjoyed this easy painting of Buddha statue and how to use the masking tape and if you like my videos do like subscribe and share and see when we are not we are taking the masking tape quite hard the paper can also come out so make sure you're using the painting masking tape and use it and take out the masking tape very carefully so that the paper doesn't comes out so this is the whole painting and it looks and I loved it I hope you also loved it and if you're trying do tag me on Instagram that is Mohi Art Gallery I love to see your paintings and I'm just giving a wide outline with the acrylic marker to give it a highlight to the statue so that's it So thank you for watching my class and this is almost done. Have a nice day.